Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is the first vlog of my moving series. I still can't believe that I'm moving. It doesn't like feel real yet. I feel like it's not gonna kick in until like I actually get the keys for the new place and everything. But it's the day after Thanksgiving. I fully was out of groceries for breakfast, for coffee, everything like that. So I just stopped by, grabbed a coffee and some breakfast. I got my normal grande toasted vanilla oat milk shake and espresso, but they gave it to me in a venti, which was super sweet. And then I just grabbed a plain bagel so I have something to eat so I'm not eating coffee on like an empty stomach before I get groceries. Anyways, that is what I am currently up to. I just stopped by, grabbed some moving boxes, if you guys can see those in the back from Walmart. And then I also grabbed a bunch of bubble wrap. So all the things that I need to move and start packing today, which my moving plans have actually changed a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, I talked a little bit about this, but we were in my last video, or not my last video, but the video where I was telling you guys that we're gonna be moving and kind of what was going on. I was saying that we're gonna be downsizing. What we were originally going with were like these little detached apartments that were super cute. It was nice because there wasn't any shared walls. So we would have been downsizing, but we were still gonna be paying like $300 more a month than what we're currently paying now for our four bed, three bath house. So we were like, okay, that's fine. Like I feel like rent has gone up like crazy everywhere. And we were honestly having a hard time finding a good place that wasn't like super crazy rent for what it was. Okay, I'm gonna eat my bagel while we talk because I'm hungry. Um, I need hand sanitizer. So we're planning on downsizing, going with those little like detached apartment homes and everything looked good. We were talking to the property manager and she seemed super nice. We asked a ton of questions nothing like raised any red flags the only thing we had left to do was sign the lease <laughs> and even before we got the lease my mom told me she like woke up like super early in the morning just like feeling like she really needed to like pray for us about like moving to this place she didn't have like a super like easy feeling about it and then like my grandma got the same feeling and was like praying that something else would open up everyone just kind of had uneasy feelings and i i thought my uneasy feeling about it was kind of like just that I was nervous to move and like nervous to make a change. Anyways, but we got the lease. I've just never seen so many red flags in a lease before. Like I've been renting since I was 18 and first moved out. I've truly just never seen a lease like this. It just had the most bizarre things in there. Just super strange things that were really concerning. Ultimately, we're like, there's no way in heck we're signing this. So we decided to keep looking and we found a few different options, but the options that we found either had breed restrictions, so we couldn't bring Kai there. And then I noticed that a lot of places just actually didn't even allow pets at all. I feel like I've seen like a change in the whole rental space with that as people just don't want pets. So we were like, oh my gosh, like we're gonna be stuck in this toxic mold house forever. But I kept checking Zillow every single day. I was constantly refreshing it, getting like email notifications whenever a new rent would pop up. And I had my search set between like a certain price limit just cause I'm like, if I see more expensive houses and like there's other options there, I'm gonna be tempted to like spend more than I really want to. So I had it set in a very specific range. I did not wanna pay any more than $500 more a month than we were paying here. Um, I was like, that's just insane to pay any more than that. I just don't want to. So there wasn't really any options. And then one day this house popped up and big, beautiful house, stunning, like all white interior, really modern, like stunning fireplace. Um, like the master bathroom, beautiful, has like a gorgeous bathtub and it's in the perfect location, the exact location that would be like our ideal location to live in. And I was really sad because with this other location, we would have had to move like 45 minutes or 50 minutes, like whenever it was like traffic or something away from my family, which I live super close to my family. We all live in like five to 10 minutes of each other. And so I was really sad about that, but this one is still super close to my family and it's in the best place. And it had been on the market for almost like two months, but I hadn't seen it because it was like $300 more than like my upper limit of you know what I wanted to spend on rent. So it wasn't showing up with those filters, but they actually lowered it like $300 a month. So it perfectly fit in our budget. Granted it was at the higher end of our budget, but it was still within our budget and it is stunning like it is nicer than my house now i don't know they need they, like honestly i don't, I don't want to say that because what if they watch this video and try to raise the rent on me but like they should be charging so much more for this house um it's like a private landlord situation they're super sweet anyway so we sent in a request to tour it like last minute they're like yeah you guys can come see it tonight we are like picking a tenant tomorrow we have lots of applications um but you know if you guys want to come see it last minute like you can and then you know if you want to put in an application so in my mind, I was like, oh, okay, like I want to go see it just to see it because it's so pretty. And then like we can put in an application. We probably won't get picked because if there's already so many other people that applied, like 
we're, we're coming in last minute. What are our chances? So we went to see it and I was like, the whole time I was looking at Austin, I'm like, this is the prettiest house ever. There's no way that they're like renting this out for the price that they are. So we were like, I love it. It's beautiful. And I was like, I'm going to put in an application. We're probably not going to get it. Um, but I did pray. I was like, God, if this is where you want us to be, and this is like, if this is in your plan, make it happen. Let them pick us. And if this is not where you want us to be, close that door. Don't let it happen. And they messaged me, I think it was either that night after we submitted the application or the next morning with a few other questions. They're like, we just want to, you know, confirm some info. And if all of that looks good, then we would love to move forward with you guys. I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, did we actually find a house that is beautiful? It's everything and more that I could have asked for, which is why I personally 100% think that it was God because I'm just like, what are the chances? Like, I just don't feel like it's a coincidence that right whenever our other rental fell through, they happened to lower theirs $300 a month so that it perfectly fit within our budget. And out of a whole sea of applicants that we put ours in last minute, we were picked. I'm like, I just don't feel like that's a coincidence. Like, I feel like God had to like do some working behind the scenes to make that happen. So anyways, long story short, none of that was short. You guys know I like to ramble. Um, but we are, it's still gonna be a three bedroom, two bath, but it is actually, or is it three bedroom, three bath? I think it's three bedroom, two bath. So we're losing one room and one bathroom, which is totally fine. Um, but the house itself is gonna be bigger. So I think it's maybe like 100 to 200 square foot bigger than our house now. Anyways, I'm extremely excited for it. I'm still pinching myself that this is the rental we got. So that's our little house up Date. We did a little switcheroo last moment on our rental situation. So I set our move out date for our current rental on December 5th. It is currently November 24th. Um, and then our move-in date at our new place on November 30th because that way we'll have a little bit of an overlap so we can kind of like move stuff, make sure like my current rental is clean and everything to hopefully get our deposit back. Like we have a week to move. So kind of changing the rentals last minute put us in a bit of a time crunch, but I was like, I really want to move before the holidays. I don't want to be moving in the middle of Christmas and stuff. So anyways, it's going to be a busy next couple of weeks. So I thought I would take you guys along with me for the whole moving process, getting everything done. So that's what these next few vlogs are probably going to be. I cannot wait to show you guys the empty house tour when we get our keys. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and head home because clearly we have a lot to get done. I haven't even started packing <laughs> at all because I've been trying to figure out where we're even moving before I can start thinking about packing. So we just signed the lease a few days ago. Now that we have that, we know we're moving into, we know what we need to keep, what we're getting rid of. Um, we can start packing. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home and then we're gonna get started with packing and start this whole process. Excuse me, Kaiser Duke. Okay. Okay, just got home, grabbed all the boxes, the bubble wrap, all the things I got for packing. I'm trying to make a list or like a plan for what to move first because it's hard because we're still using some stuff but then I also need to start packing stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what to pack first. I did start kind of like decluttering our junk drawers, which you guys can't see it right now because you're kind of like sitting in the middle of the mess. But right now our counters are covered in just a bunch of really random stuff. Cause I have a bunch of junk drawers over on this cabinet and junk drawers over here. And I pulled all the stuff out so I could clean the drawers. And my gosh, like you just never realize how much stuff you have in junk drawers until you pull it all out and you're like, why do I even have half this stuff? So I probably need to go through all of this. And then I'm thinking I can maybe start packing up some kitchen items and then start packing up clothes with the trash bags. So I'm thinking like in the kitchen, this is super unorganized, but we have so many glasses. Like we can, I can leave out like five glasses and then just rewash those and we'll be fine. So I can start like packing all of this stuff up and like pack most of the mugs up and stuff. Cause I've really just been drinking iced coffee anyways. So I could start doing that. We also have like two sets of um, like bowls, plates, everything like that. And these cabinets over here. So we don't need a full two sets. So I could probably start packing those up. And then on this side of my kitchen, I have like all of my cookware type of stuff, which we're not really going to be doing a lot of cooking with the move. I think it's going to be like the moving diet where it's like mostly eating out and probably lots of kava. So I feel like I can probably start packing up most of that. So Maybe that's what we will do today. And I also really need to call or like figure out 
movers situation because normally like I always just move by myself and I just do a U-Haul or not by myself like with my family and we typically just do a U-Haul and then we just carry everything ourselves but in the past I didn't have to bring like a fridge washer and dryer stuff like that with me and I don't think we're gonna be able to carry that ourselves so I think I'm gonna need to probably hire some movers just to help us like move that stuff so I probably need to try to like call or email someone today about that to hopefully get that scheduled since it is such a tight turnaround time. But at least we have a starting point. I also just remembered that I had this box saved in my garage from when I moved from St. Louis like almost four years ago. Are you gonna help me pack Kaiser Dukies? He's like, mm, no, I don't have opposable thumbs, so that's all you. <laughs> but it has these little dividers for glasses, so you can just pop them in each little one. I think there's another layer or two down below as well. Glad that I saved that, because that way I'm not gonna have to use as much bubble wrap, and these are just so much more convenient. See, isn't that right, Harper? See, it's just so much more convenient. So I can't even believe that anyone would try to turn you away, saying that you're a vicious pit bull. Say so you just like snuggles and butt rubs and chin scratchies? Say so yes, there's nothing vicious about you. I cannot believe that they would discriminate against such a sweet, sweet girl. Okay, let's get to packing. Okay, got the whole dish cabinet, except for I always keep this little pink plate in here for my niece whenever she comes over. Um, anyways, but got everything cleared out. I do still have some stuff in my dishwasher, so we're probably just gonna use those dishes until we move out. What in the focus issue is happening with my camera right now? Um, anyway, so got all of that, packed it all in here. Hi, Bubby, I know you think I should be playing with you instead of packing. I know, I would rather be playing with you, I promise, okay? Mwah, love you so much. I feel like it's always tricky to figure out like how to pack these so I just stacked them all in here Put a piece of bubble wrap in between each one and I'm gonna hope for the best but we are making progress Moving on to this side, which this is what I was talking about all these junk drawer I always I don't know why that's so hard to say junk drawers and we have a bunch of stuff down here Cleared all of these out and just have the most random stuff. I literally found my tax return from I think either 2020 or 2019 because they sent it back on like a prepaid card. I found it shoved in my drawer, never even used it. Forgot to ever like <laughs> activate the card and use my tax return. So anyways, it's just, I don't know what to do with all of this. I got some stuff from Ulta and then I have this random box. I've just been piling stuff in, but these are all of the toys that I keep at my house for my niece. She loves Frozen, so I always keep like a little bucket because I literally have nothing for kids here. So what I'm thinking I might do is just grab one of these like medium boxes and just put anything over here that like it's still good to use. I don't want to throw it away because someone else could use it, but it's like stuff that I don't want to take with me. And then I can have like family members or like whoever just like come get it and see if like my trash is anyone else's treasure. <laughs> Got this counter cleaned off. I left a few things in here just in case. Like, it's random stuff that I think my landlord or like whoever, the handyman guy that they have come over to fix things left here. I don't know what this goes to. This might go to my Cox internet actually, um, but they left these here. And then in case I need to replace any light bulbs, I figured I'd leave some light bulbs that work. None of them are out at the moment, but just in case I figured I could just leave some maybe. But other than that, all the drawers and everything are nice and cleared out. The next thing I'm gonna tackle is <laughs> all of these cabinets. Again, like this whole part of my kitchen is literally just for random crap that I don't know where else to put. Like these, 
Like up here, I literally have like vegan eggnogs from two years ago that are probably expired now. I have like a dog advent calendar. I don't know what that is. Okay, I have random spray paint in there. I have, I have just like Scotch Guard, an ice cube maker, random, like why is there a Christmas decoration right <laughs> I have nail polish remover. Oh my gosh, I recently bought this cuticle oil and I've been looking for it everywhere. I have not been able to find it for like months now. Okay, well found that. It's really just a mess of randomness. I don't know if this is like an ADHD person thing that we just shove things in random places. Anyways, but let's go ahead and just tackle this now. I don't know why I closed that because this is just, this needs to be taken care of. <laughs> Okay, got these cabinets all cleared out. Now it is just all back on my counter. I will say, if you are short, this is just the biggest hack. Get some tongs and you can literally reach anything and you don't have to climb up on counters or stools. Just use tongs. This is what I use all the time for like you guys probably saw when I was like packing up the glasses because Austin likes to put stuff cause he's like six, four, six, five. He puts stuff on like the highest thing where I cannot reach. So I always have to use these to like grab my glasses <laughs> so I don't have to climb up on the counters. But anyways, there's a little hack for anyone who like has trouble like reaching stuff on upper shelves. Just use some tongs. I think I'm going to start working on these two cabinets as well. Cause these are super messy just as much as that one. So I'm glad I'm doing this. It needs to be done, but I'm going to try to get these two cabinets cabinets knocked out and then Austin said he's bringing me kava because I'm starving so I'm hoping he should be home in like 30-ish minutes so I'm going to try to get these knocked out before he gets home and then I can have my reward of having some yummy kava. I just found the funniest thing in here. These are <laughs> my onion cutting goggles. <laughs> Literally everywhere I cut an onion I wear these so we've got to make sure that we keep those. Those are important. <laughs> okay it is a little bit later. I finished cleaning out the cabinets and I literally perfect timing because I can hear like Austin pulling in the garage right now. Okay, it's a little bit later. I finished doing the kitchen. Now I'm going to move on to my closet. I did start bagging some stuff. This was like all of my big winter coats. Let me just tell you, that was like wrestling a dinosaur. I was so frustrated <laughs> doing that. It's always so hard with like the really big fluffy items, but somehow it worked perfectly. So I'm going to do the rest to all of this. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. I'm going to try to finish all of it tonight. I am feeling like I'm losing some steam and I'm getting a little tired. Tired, so we'll see how much I get done, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on that Hi guys, it is the next day. I didn't wash my hair last night I was so tired. I just went to bed within a ponytail So I need to wash it today. But anyways, I got a lot done last night. I booked the u-haul booked the movers um, They just texted me this morning to like schedule a time so I scheduled them for noon on the 30th um, And then we're gonna pick up the u-haul that morning around 11 because I also get the keys and I want to film like an empty house tour and everything that morning. So I wanted to give myself like a little bit of time to do that. Um, so got that done. I'm at Target because I saw this really good idea on TikTok to get like different colored sticky notes and then put them on like the doors, like the door frame or a wall or something of whichever room you want the boxes to go in. And then you put the corresponding color of like the sticky note on your box. So like I'll put a, you know, I don't know, blue sticky note on my office door or something and then the movers will know that all the blue sticky note boxes go in that room so I wanted to grab some sticky notes to do that today because I thought that was a great idea because I know in the past if I've done a move I'm like oh you guys can put it in like the office and like they don't know which room is going to be the office or like they don't remember which one was which and then we end up having to like move a ton of stuff and like boxes to like the correct room again so I figured it would probably just make it so much easier for the movers to do that. Okay, it's several hours later. I have been working hard on my office. This office closet was absolutely packed to the brim. Like everything, uh, there's the stuff shoved up there. The whole closet was full. Um, there's like no space on the floor. And then, oh, I think I like definitely something scratched that up back there. I'm gonna have to paint over that. Um, anyways, and then I emptied out all of these like drawer organizers and packed up everything from my desk. So. I have all my notebooks, the planners, random like tech stuff, more random cores I don't know what go to. So I got all of that packed up and then packed up all my filming equipment. 
And then this stuff is just random like office equipment like my file folder and other just random like tripod stuff like that so but I have been working hard this closet was a mess before and now everything is like pretty much packed up so really the only thing that I have left to do in my office is to pack all of this stuff um, so again more clothes I just need to go to my closet and be bagged up and then I also need to take down my Desenio art this one the tape fell off on the top so like, the picture is like falling down but I need to take all of this off and wrap up the frames maybe in bubble wrap um, so I think I'm probably going to work on that next and hopefully we can just get my office fully knocked out, but we are making progress. This hope it didn't break. Oh, it didn't break. Okay. Wow. It didn't even like dent or anything. Come through Decenio. Great quality frames. <laughs> picture frames and all the screws are out of the walls the screws definitely did leave obviously some holes so I bought this little nail hole filler and a what are these called a putty knife so I might try to do that really quickly hopefully this stuff is easy to use I honestly have never used this before because I don't think I've ever really put anything with screws in my wall let's see I feel like this is too big is this even gonna work oh that was easy I feel like that should do it it goes on pink apparently and then it like dries white but the property manager left a bunch of like paint behind for the walls and like the trim and stuff. So I'm probably just gonna go over with that just to touch it up and make sure like once it dries and everything, just make sure that everything looks good. And I am hoping that they actually give us our deposit back or like we're still even eligible to get the deposit back because since she's like letting us out of our lease, does that mean that she's letting us out of like the entirety of the lease? Like we're foregoing or forfeiting our security deposit refund or are we just getting out of like the term of our lease? Hopefully it's just getting out of the term of our lease and that we can still get our security deposit back. Otherwise I would be so upset. Okay, next up, if I can get the camera to sit on a pile of my junk. I'm gonna tackle this whole mess. I'm thinking I can probably just put it all in bags. Some of it though, I just don't even know, like what do I do with all the purses? Okay, see this is the thing with ADHD and that it's just like, is the funniest, most slash annoying thing. I've been looking for my chip clips everywhere. Please tell me why I had a chip clip in my bag. I don't understand why that would ever go in there as I'm literally putting it back into the bag, which I will lose later and then I'm gonna find it later and then I'm gonna be like, why did you put it in there? The cycle continues. I made a quick stop by Lowe's because I was running out of bubble wrap and I saw that they had a ton of this like packing paper which is a huge thing of it for the same price as a little roll of bubble wrap so I'm thinking I might get this because that way I can actually just recycle it and it's not a ton of plastic so I kind of hate how much plastic I'm using for everything so I might grab what's the difference this is just a giant that's just a giant roll I might grab some of this instead of bubble wrap and hopefully that does the job and then i don't know if they have them but the other thing i was looking for is more of those little like containers not containers the um dividers for glasses and stuff because those were so helpful i think i got them here last time but i'm just not seeing them anywhere so they might not carry them anymore which is a bummer oh wait nope i think i found it i think this is it it looks a little bit different so they might have changed it but it has the dividers oh it has the like foam pockets okay great we will get that Good morning, you guys. It is day three, four of packing. I don't remember which one. I just made myself some coffee and then I made a little protein bagel with some vegan cream cheese. So having a quick little breakfast before we get started on our day. My mom actually came over last night and helped us pack a little bit more. So we have most of the stuff in the kitchen packed up. Thank you so much, mom, for all of your help. But we got pretty much all of the kitchen packed up, which is a huge relief because there was just so much stuff in there. So just shoved all the boxes in this corner. And then I do still need to take down these curtain rods and the curtains and then fill in the holes from the screws. Miss Alexa over here is also getting packed up early. I don't actually know if we're gonna keep her. I might end up selling her because last night in the middle of nowhere, she started playing this like super like creepy song and we didn't tell her to do anything. We weren't even really like talking around her. And I went on like my Google voice history and it showed that someone like typed a command to Alexa to like play a super spooky song. 
so I think someone hacked it thankfully the camera like has always been like covered over here so because I know people like have said that they like will have someone hack it and they take pictures of them so spooky so I'm like I don't know if I want to keep her in my house that's a little that's a little much for me because it was like super late at night we had most of the lights off it was just out of nowhere and so creepy but so she's going in her box immediately we quickly unplugged her and have not plugged her back in since that happened so I don't know have any of you guys had that happen or is something similar let me know because I'm like that is so spooky and then last night Austin and I started taking off the contact paper on the counters and let me just say first and foremost I would like to make a public apology to anyone who I influence to do this contact paper it looks absolutely beautiful when it's on and it's such a great easy DIY hack to put on um, but let me just say that this is the hardest freaking thing in the entire world to get off so if you did this and it has been on your counters for a good length of time, I just want to make a public apology in advance because you're gonna struggle so much when you're trying to get it off. This thing is a nightmare to get off. I never wanna do contact paper again. I'm so thankful that our next house like is just gonna have nice counters and we don't need to do this, which like these counters aren't awful. It's a little bit more warm tone in person just because of the settings I have on my camera, but the whole counter is kind of like very beige, but then they painted the house gray and then the other two counters are black. So it's like very mismatched countertops and I don't know, I just didn't love the look of it. And I really wanted white countertops. So a little bit after I moved, I ended up deciding to just put this stuff on there and you guys like literally this does not come up. This is the most difficult thing to get up and in all the videos that i watched whenever i bought this or even just like now looking online everyone's like yeah this just comes up so easily just you know pull it and then it comes up mm, no that's a straight lie we just did this little portion okay just this this took us three hours last night to do we have a hair dryer we have all of our very many tools that we are trying to use so that is probably going to be something else that we work on this evening when austin gets home because um, we got one piece, which there's like one little piece right here. We have eight entire pieces to do. So it's going to be a lot. I left with a battle wound. It like ripped a, I was like pulling it like this. So it like ripped out a huge chunk of skin when I was pulling really hard. So that was super painful. So left with a battle wound from contact paper, <laughs> but at least we're making progress. It's getting there. I just absolutely never want to do this again. <laughs> okay. I'm making some more progress in my office. I just finished cleaning off all of the stuff because I'm going to be selling it on Facebook. I posted it maybe like 20 minutes ago and I already have buyers for most of the stuff, which is great. I am keeping my picture frames, but I'm selling at the desk. I'm selling the acrylic chair, the organizer, and then I'm also selling this round mirror down here. And then I just finished taking off the curtain rods and the curtains up here. And I started kind of like patching the holes. This one I tried to do like a drywall anchor with. So those holes were a little bit bigger. So those ones are still drying, but overall it looks pretty good. You can't really tell, but we're definitely making some good progress with my office. I feel like once I sell all this stuff and like they come and pick it up, it'll feel like a lot less crowded in here. Like there's just so much stuff everywhere. So I think it'll start to feel more empty as everything gets picked up. And then last night I tried to paint over the nail holes, but I think it's the wrong color of paint. I really can't tell because it's the same can of paint that the repair guy has used in the past to come paint the drywall. So I don't know if maybe it's just not fully dry yet and it's gonna change. I did stop painting because I opened this one right here and surprise, surprise, guess what was growing in there? Some nice mold, probably because this is the stuff that my property manager's repair guy used to paint over the water damage. So I'm sure it probably got contaminated and then grew mold in there. So I decided to leave that closed because when I was trying to paint these last night, I was coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing and was like up all night coughing because I think I'm now having like a really bad allergic reaction to the mold. Like I have literally had the worst cough that will not go away for three weeks now. I've just been editing it out of this video. So you guys like don't listen to me sit here and like cough my lungs out, but Anyways, I'm not sick. I don't feel bad. I'm not tired. I literally just think I'm having a super bad allergic reaction to the mold at this point. So this moldy can of paint situation is going to stay closed. I'm not going to open that anymore. I did email the property manager. I was like, I'd love to paint over everything, but unfortunately, like the cans literally have mold in them. So since I'm already sick with mold, I will not be doing that. I'm thinking the project that I'm going to work on today is tackling my bedroom and my bathroom. I really haven't done these yet. I did my closet, but I need to do like all my bathroom products and kind of go through all of that, go through the closet in there. And then this hot mess of a situation really needs to be taken care of. These drawers are just stuffed, like can't fit any more in them. <sighs> I really need to like get a, rid of a lot of clothes because this is just way too many and I do not need all of these. Um, but yeah, like every single drawer is packed like that. Like why is there a random, oh, this is a broken ring light. So 
Anyway, so this needs to be tackled because I probably need to, I did, <laughs> I asked Austin, I was like, do you think I could just leave all the clothes in there and the movers could just move the dresser with the clothes in it? And he's like, no. So I do probably need to go through all this and pack it all up in boxes, maybe hang stuff up and then pack it that way. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but, and then I need to like wrap up this decor, put the books somewhere, all of that stuff, and then ignore the messy bed. <laughs> I didn't even bother making it today because I'm about to pull all like the bedding off. Um, we are going to actually sell this bed frame because I've noticed lately with Kai, like I think his hips are feeling a little bit worse. So he's having a bit of a harder time jumping on and off his bed because it is a really tall bed. Um, so we're gonna get a little bit of a lower bed for him so it's not as hard. And because I don't want him like damaging his hips or anything like that. So if you guys are new here, Kaiser Duke has severe bilateral hip dysplasia. So he has it in both hips. And he was originally supposed to get a total hip replacement on both hips. Um, and thankfully so far just with therapies and everything, they said that they think he might be fine. So I'm trying to just do everything I can to avoid having to do a total hip replacement for two hips. Cause that would be like $25,000. Um, anyway, so we're getting rid of the bed. I'm also going to be selling the lamps and the nightstands because these nightstands are super tall. So I'm thinking with the other one, like with the other bed that we get, it's probably gonna be a little bit lower. So I'm just selling this whole thing as a set. They're picking that up on December 2nd. I'm going to keep these frames. And then I did order an air mattress for us. That's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna take off most of this bedding so I think I can start washing it. So that way we have fresh bedding for our air mattress. But first I just have to know, Kaiser Dookie, how are you feeling about the move? You have any thoughts that you wanna share with anybody? Are you very excited that you're not gonna have to downsize into a super small apartment? Are you gonna be so excited that you have carpet? That is actually one thing that I'm very excited about for him is he slips a lot, not slips a lot, but if he's like going around a corner quick or something, he will slip on the hardwood floors. And this whole house now is all like hardwood or not hardwood, it's laminate, but this new house has um, bedrooms and then the living room has carpet in it, which I prefer laminate, but for him, I think this it'll be really great just to have some more traction and he won't be slipping as much, so. But anyways, okay, I'm procrastinating. Let's go to this dresser. Okay, got my dresser all cleared out. I vacuumed it all out as well, so all the drawers are nice and cleaned. And I have this little pile of stuff I just need to put somewhere else. Like I have jewelry, sunglasses, my red light therapy mask, all of that stuff. So I'm just leaving it there until I figure out where I wanna put that. But oh, I feel so much better now that that is done. All right, you guys, it is super late. Like it is almost 4 a.m. Um, I've been packing all day. I still have like some stuff in my closet to pack. I just pulled out a bunch of products and they're all over like my bathroom counter. I was trying to go through those and pack them, um, but I have reached my limit. I am like a disheveled mess right now. I feel disgusting. I want to shower and go to bed. I feel like for the most part, I did get like the majority of stuff done, like all the big stuff, but there is like a lot of little stuff that I feel like where I'm getting hung up is like I'm trying to organize and pack at the same time and like clean out stuff which just isn't working well because i'm like it's i don't know it just makes it so much harder to pack i feel like they're just like throwing everything in a box and then calling it a day but i also just don't want to bring like a big mess that i'm gonna have to take care of later to the new place so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me so far for part one of our move and i will see you guys tomorrow morning Bye.